The honor and prestige of winning a Nobel Prize is hitting close to home in our city as a University of Toronto professor takes home the top prize in physics for his work in artificial intelligence. Jeffrey Hinton shares this distinguished prize with co-laureate John Hopfield of Princeton University for their foundational discoveries and inventions that enable machine learning with artificial neural networks. Building on Hopfield's previous work, Hinton developed a method that can find properties and data enabling tasks like identifying specific elements in images. I think, you know, we are very proud of the fact that uh, the University of Toronto was really at the center of, you know, the birth of modern machine learning. Known as the godfather of AI, Professor Hinton has pledged part of his prize money to Water First, an Ontario-based organization that collaborates with Indigenous communities to address water challenges through education and training. He was very interested and passionate uh, about our work. He was a big supporter uh, and he was um, learning more about us. He was very supportive of our approach and he reached out to us and we were really grateful that, he, uh, that we were considered by him to be a, an organization that he values and respects the, the work and services that we're doing. $350,000 will be going to the organization and its work with both adults and children. We're working at the school level, we're working with K-12 to learners and helping them learn uh, the foundations of water science and learn about the, the, the tangible paths that they can take to make change within their community and to pursue uh, careers in water science. The donation will enhance Water First's ability to expand its reach and improve its programming by providing new equipment, ensuring the best learning experience for students. The Nobel Prize, named after inventor and businessman Alfred Nobel, is awarded annually to individuals who make significant contributions to humankind in the past year. In Toronto, Beverly Andrews, City News.